These next dogs were rescued for some extremely confining conditions. Tonight, they got to do some of the things dogs love for the very first time. These beagles had spent their entire life in a laboratory until now. Our Kirsten Mitchell met up with three of them as they made a stop in Minnesota. These beagles don't know it yet. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> but they're about to experience a grassy yard for the first time. Beagle number one. Welcome to freedom. The big world can be scary. Come on, bunny. Especially for these dogs who've only known the walls of a laboratory. You're going to love it. Canadian based rescue, the Beagle Alliance, rescued them from a lab in the Midwest. I can't tell you what laboratory they're from. That's confidential. It's also unclear what was done to them. Most dogs are used for biomedical or drug testing. There's some decompression to happen and, uh, and just love and patience, and slowly they come out of their shells. More than 250 U.S. institutions report using dogs in experiments each year. The majority are companies, community or technical colleges, and public universities. Beagles are the most used breed of dog in laboratory testing because they're docile, they're forgiving, and they easily fit into a cage, unfortunately. Some states, including Minnesota, have laws that require labs, when possible, to offer dogs to shelters for adoption. Most animals are euthanized uh, after study, and they don't have to be. As we know, they could go on to live longer lives outside of the cage than inside the cage. Volunteer Kathy Meyer knows this firsthand, adopting two of her own dogs from animal testing. Seeing my dogs and what they've been through and overcome and knowing that like they're on their way to a great life is just amazing. That's the beagle life right there. Loving that grass. It's a good thing I'm only waist up here because I am totally covered in dog drool. It was worth it. So now these dogs will actually go back to Canada with the rescue where they will be fostered and then adopted. Hopefully more grass yards ahead. For oh, them. yeah, no kidding. I bet they'll get adopted yeah. quickly. Too. So they're going to oh, yeah. be okay, though, because I mean, they look a little freaked out, you know, when they came out. Oh, of yeah, it, for I mean, sure. they're really starting from scratch, and these are three year old dogs, so they're going to need some adjusting and some training, yeah. I imagine, as well. But. They looked happy rolling around the gla grass. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kirsten.